everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i do all things baby today i'm going to be doing a review on the four moms breeze plus i'm going to compare it to the sienna the nuna sienna air or aire airy you guys let me know how to pronounce it um i'm gonna to try to refer it as a playpen or player because if you check out different brands that's essentially the name that it goes by either player playpen pack and play travel band so without further ado, let me get started first. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to install everything. So let me get started. So one of the reasons why we decided to go for the 4Moms instead of the Nuna is because we already have 4Moms products. We are happy with it. We've never had a problem with it. So we kind of wanted to go with something that we already knew. Um, we also like the aesthetics of the Breeze instead of the Sienna. This is more like a dark black finish, um, so if it gets dirty, oops, if it gets dirty, it's not going to be as noticeable. You can clean, clean it easily. Another thing that we notice the differences between the Sienna and the Breeze is that it's very straightforward. Like you can see right through it. I believe the Sienna has like these, um, not plastics. I don't know how to call it, but I'll try to put a picture here where basically there's kind of like the accessories and like throughout like you can see your baby but it's not like as straightforward as this both do include the breathable mesh um the holes in the breathable mesh are very very small so your baby's fingers are never going to get caught in it the only thing that olivia liked to do is this um with her nails it drove me nuts but your baby's fingers won't get caught both the sin and the breeze kind of have the same um mesh where it's gonna be the air is gonna flow easily another item that we liked from the breeze is that it includes the bassinet the bassinet if i'm not mistaken um holds up to 23 pounds um the sienna does not include the bassinet you have to purchase separately i believe and i believe it also um holds up to 24 pounds if i'm not mistaken the difference is also is that um, this one does not include the bed sheet or the creep, the creep sheet or the bassinet sheet and the Sienna does. Um, so just keep that in mind. I think it's a difference of 20 bucks, but I believe if I'm not mistaken, the bassinet, if you purchase it, purchase it for the Sienna is like 60 bucks or something like that. So at the end, I'll, I'll try to put it all together, the breakdowns of it. Um, both the Breathe and the Sienna has a one single hand open and close. As I mentioned, I'm going to demonstrate at the end of the video how to close it and open it is very straightforward it's very simple and i personally enjoyed that was the main item why i decided to go for the four moms so another item that set the difference between the four moms and the breeze the breeze and the sienna is the traveling bag this is the traveling bag it's pretty slick but not, not only that um it's very simple to put together to travel with I'm going to show you guys at the end of the video how to take it apart and fit it all into this little bag. Only thing to note is that the bassinet slash changing station does not fit in the um, travel bag. You can fit the frame and the uh, kind of like crib bed, but you cannot fit the second part, which is the bassinet and the um, changing pad. Um, so I really, really enjoy this. It's gonna be easier to show you guys at the end of the video and I'll, I'll try to do a talk through on how easy it is to put it together. Um, also, this bassinet is more on the lighter side. Uh, I did hear the uh, Sienna was a bit more on the heavier side, but it all depends um, how much weight you can, can lift. I wanted something that was simple to put together and not very um, heavy. I would note that if you're using the bassinet on the breeze, I wouldn't use it on babies that can sit up just because um, the bassinet goes up to here. So if your baby sits, they will most likely fall down. It's I believe the Sienna, the bassinet is down here. So it's a bit more safe. I did use this with Olivia when she was small before she even could sit. Um, so that's the only thing that I will note if you're choosing between both of them. Note that if you're using it for the bassinet purposes, one, it, the bassinet is very high up. So you want to make sure that you use it with babies that can't sit yet. And also the bassinet is very small. It's like a section because it's separated between the bassinet and the changing station. Um, I know Olivia, because she's been on the taller side of babies, she had to sleep diagonally. 
because she couldn't really fit um, if you just put her straight. So those are the two things to keep in mind. So we personally use the play pen or the play yard um, at the beginnings, like every day, basically when Olivia was first born because we had it at the first floor because I was recovering from postpartum, uh, from birth actually, uh, from giving birth, uh, I didn't want to go up and down the stairs. I gave my tips on postpartum recovery. I'll link them down below if you haven't watched it yet. But basically what I was trying to avoid is going up the stairs all the time. So we had this in the first floor. Whenever Olivia had to nap, it was really easy. I just had to walk from the kitchen to uh, where the playpen was. So I will say that we used it every day up to, I think, when she turned three to four months. Because as I said, you want to make sure that your baby is very tiny and that they can't sit and whatnot. Another item or another reason why we also decided to go for the up play yard in general is because we travel a lot, either between provinces or we go to my parents' house that they live a little bit far away. So we wanted to make sure that Olivia had her own bed. She's 15 months now and she still uses this. For example, if I stay the weekend at my parents, we take this with us. She sleeps right in there. She still fits. Uh, she's only 15 months and she sleeps comfortably the whole night so that's another reason why we decided to go for the playpen we haven't traveled with it yet um just because it it is another type of luggage um and if you bring on stroller or not it just adds on to it would i consider this was uh we bought this in a baby show as you guys know i love going to baby shows because they usually give crazy discounts we bought this at the baby show so i think it was an extra 25 percent off but i did see the four moms website if you subscribe they give you 20 percent off if i'm not mistaken or they have like crazy sales like that sometimes um would i buy it again mm, the price is high don't get me wrong but then again you do pay for how easy it is to install anyone can install it you can travel with it anywhere because it's very like compact and it's not that heavy but I still do think that it's very, like, it's it's pricey. For Canadian dollars, it, it's pricey. Um, so I will say just, if you're looking for a player that has the best net, that's easy to install and whatnot, just compare to the Nuna and the Breeze. Sorry, the Nuna, yeah, the Nuna and the Four Moms. I heard and I've read so many bad reviews about the other brands just because it's hard to install, it's heavy and whatnot. If you guys have any recommendations on other brands that kind of have similar items, features, but that are cheaper, do comment down below because a lot of people do look at the reviews and they like to see what other options are out there. We just decided to go with this one because of the different features that it had. We couldn't find that in other products or other brands, um, but we do know that it's in the higher price. So it's like, mm, do you really want to spend that much money or do you want to go for something a little bit cheaper that might be a little bit heavier or might be a little bit a little bit harder to install and whatnot this is straightforward you guys will see uh, i'm going to continue with the installation how to install everything together it's very straightforward it's pretty easy to pack um so it's a personal decision if you guys want to spend the money or not for me i will say it was worth it because i will keep it for my next baby and i know for sure i'm going to use it the only thing is that if you're planning to using it longer the best in it for longer you might want to go for the Nuna just because the Nuna, as I mentioned, the best in it, it's lower, it's not that high, so you won't be, you know, like looking at your baby every time, make sure, making sure they don't fall. I'll show you guys in the video how the best in it looks. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the changing pad and the best in it on top of the four moms. Um, it's quite simple. Let me show you guys how to do it. Okay, so let me go ahead and demonstrate how I attach the bassinet slash changing pad to the frame of the play yard. So first you're gonna take this long um, stick that you get in the middle in between the changing pad and the bassinet. You're gonna make sure that you put it, you attach it uh, in between both sides of the frame. Uh, just make sure that the bassinet is shorter than, sorry, the chain pad is shorter than the uh, bassinet part. So you're gonna go ahead and attach it. Make sure it clips like this. Then you're gonna have clips all around the bassinet and the changing pad, like this. And you're gonna make sure that it clips all around. Now make sure you do the same with the bassinet part. Just clip all around. And the final one. 
here. So then you have this extra fabric part that goes around the um, frame of the player, like so. And this is what it should look like. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the bed. Um, as I mentioned, the sheet is not included. The sheet is very soft, but you can buy it separately. Um, if you see the inside of the bed, it's sort of like this cushy and it has like kind of like a type of plastic on the top. Um, just in case I, the crib gets wet, it's easy to clean. So we're going to remove this part. Then here, underneath the Formal's logo, you're going to find this kind of like string that you're going to pull up. That will essentially um, close the playpen like this. As I mentioned, it is very, very light. So just to put it together, what you're going to do is you're going to press down on the um, Poor Mom's logo wherever you used to pull it out for. So it's going to go like this. Oops. Oops. There you go. That's how you put it together. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Anyone can do it. So I'm going to go ahead and close it again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a travel bag. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put the crib bed on the floor like this. And you're just going to bring the frame up on top of the bed. You're just going to wrap it around like so. You're going to find some Velcros here that you're going to use to close it. Make sure it's all tight. I'm not going to close it all together. Essentially, you have six of these kind of like Velcro uh, items. Or string, sorry. You're just going to close it like this. You have the option to put the other ones around too. But I'm just going to leave it like this for now. So it should look like this. So now what you're going to do, you're going to take the travel bag. What I like about this travel bag is that it's like a double zip up. So it's very easy to put together. So first, as I mentioned, the, the crib bed will fit with the frame inside the travel bag with the bassinet slash um, changing pad will not fit. Some people did fit it in the travel bag when I saw the reviews. I personally couldn't get it uh, all together just because I was scared that the, zip, the zipper was going to break and I didn't want to purchase another one of these. So what I'm going to do here, I have the crib sheet uh, bag that it came with. I just put it in the corner. Not a big deal to be honest. So what I usually do is I will grab it from one side. Here you're gonna have like a hard, um, kind of like a hard side to it. And what I'm gonna do is just put it together like this. Just start by the top, and I'll just put it on the floor like this. All the way at the bottom. Just gonna make sure I'm in the frame. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna zip from one side all the way to the other. There's still some space inside the bag. That's why I'm saying a lot of people did fit the crib sheet, uh, the crib, the bassinet, and the changing pad. Here, I don't know if you can see, you have a four months logo in the back. You can put your information just in case you lose it or whatnot, which I hope you don't because it's expensive. So this is the bag once you put it all together. As I mentioned, it's not that heavy, and if I can lift it, you can lift it. Um, so that is that how to put it together and take it all apart. So that is it for today's review. I hope you guys like this video. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any other recommendations or if you guys have any particular questions on the breeds. Um, and if you did go for the Nuna, let me know what you liked about the Nuna, what you didn't quite like for the four months. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.